everybody. It's Pat in the Pot, and I'm at Paulette and John Renee House, and I got my handsome cousin again, Brandon. We're going to bring it to y'all again. I, we, I know y'all like the last one. That's right. We got a part two for you. <laughs> so today, I'm cooking some, look, I've been getting a lot of requests for some okra. A lot of y'all don't eat okra, but a lot of y'all do. So I got some fresh okra that I'm going to cook from scratch. I'm going to show y'all how to get this slime out of there because a lot of people don't eat okra because they say it's too slimy. If you eat okra that's slimy, that's because you've eaten it from somebody that don't know how to cook it. But I'm going to show y'all right now how to cook it. When I get done, there won't be no more slime in here. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I got, Paula, if you want to come over here. First of all, I put about a cup of oil in the bottom of my pot, about a, about a cup of oil, and I'm going to go ahead and drop this this okra in there. Now this is fresh okra, just come out the garden. Can't get it no fresher than that. This don't come out the grocery store. This come out hand pick out the garden. So you're gonna put it in that pot like that. You know, I got to get every one of them. Everyone, come on, get on out of there. Look, got some more hanging up in there. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put this off aside. Now I'm going to stir it up a little bit. I got another bag right here, y'all. But what's going to happen, I got to let this cook down a little bit more before I can add some more because the pot will be too full. So we're going to go ahead. This is step one. You put one cup of oil in your pot. You get it good and hot, and then you're going to drop your okra in there. And then all from this point on, you're going to put your fire about on high. And you're just gonna stir. This is a time consuming, um, when you're cooking okra, it's time consuming. It's just like when, you, when you're cooking a, a, a root. You gotta keep stirring and keep stirring and keep stirring because that's what get all that slime out. So, and of course, you know, we're cooking with Pat in the Pot Creole seasoning, right? They can't, can't cook nothing else with it. Hold on, I think you said that wrong. I think you meant to say Pat in the Pot, the heat. That's bon appetit. The heat that's bon appetit. That's right. Available in Lake Charles, Louisiana and surrounding areas. That's right. And on patinthepot.com. If you live out of town, out of state, and, I, and I, you're not local where I can deliver it to you, you go on patinthepot.com, and it's three for 20. It's the minimum. It's three that you have to order. You can get three, six, or 12. Three for 20 on patinthepot.com. And I'll tell you what. 30 milligrams of sodium, you, you can't beat that. You, you go in the store and you look for a Creole season and it has 30 milligrams of sodium, you won't find it. Not only is uh, 30 milligrams of sodium, it's delicious flavors in there. Very good, I, I'm getting real good feedback on it. So, and uh, y'all already know, y'all already know, I don't cook unless I have my drink and drink. Cuz, where we at? Let's toast them up, let's toast them up. Toast them. <laughs> Look your daddy laughing at us in the background. <laughs> All right. It's a protein shake. It's a protein shake. Drink it, drink. Drink it, drink. That's right. We got to keep on moving along. Look. We got the seasonings and the good vibes flowing. This is a, my new drink it, drink mug, y'all. Look. It's going to be available on the website. Actually, I put it up on the website already, but it, uh, I'm getting prepared for when I go to New York. It's going to be one of the best sellers because I'm going to have my little drinky drink on, on the show with Holden. and I'm bringing her one too. So y'all can get online, order your drinky drink cup because December 12th will be here before you know it and then you can sit down in front of your TV, get your little drinky drink with your, with your coffee. You can drink your coffee in there, some hot tea. I know it's too early to have the real drinky drink because it's early in the morning the show, but, but order your little drinky drink cup from patentapot.com. Look, I got Brandon, look at him. Where your towel, Brandon? Uh, there you go, you, you know how we do it. We hold the pot on the side so it don't move. So, Paul, if you wanna show them how it's already coming together, so you can see that slime already, as y'all see it. See that slime? But when I finish with it, it won't be no more slime. And then coming for Christmas, all y'all people out there that's eating that slimy okra, you can order your, your mom or grandmother one of these cups and send them this video. That's right. Compliments of having the pot. All right. So we're going to go ahead and stir this for right now. We're going to come back a little bit later with the, the progress as it come along. So I'll see y'all in a minute. Drink it, drink. So 
poker, me and Brandon both been stirring, so I want to show y'all. Remember when I put it in there? And I told y'all we got to get that slime out? So come on over here, Paulette, and show them in the pot. Look, look, look how slimy it, it is right now. All that slime is coming out that okra. That's what you got to cook down. See, people who eat okra and they got that slime in there, no wonder you don't like it. <laughs> I wouldn't like it either. <laughs> people say, oh, I don't eat okra, it's too slimy. Well, God, dog, who cooked it? I mean, who didn't cook it? <laughs> it's more the word. So you just got to keep on stirring. And in a little while, y'all, I'm going to put some vinegar in there. Probably about a half a cup of vinegar. And that's going to help with the slime also. It's going to cut that slime out. It, it, it cuts your cooking time in half. Now over here in the back, what we're going to put in the okra when the okra is done, voila, I got some smoked ham hocks in the, in the back right there. We're, gonna, we're getting it good and tender, and what's going to happen is when it's done, I'm going to use that juice, that smoked juice, and I'm going to put it in the okra. And boy, you talk, gonna be, talk about going to be saucy bon. That's some good old, uh, what you call, kuna-ass cooking right here. <laughs> yes. Can't call it Creole cooking because we ain't using no tomatoes today. But it's good Cajun cooking right here. So, and then a little bit later on, we're going to season it with my pat in the pot. But I'm going to go ahead and get my little drinky drink. Where you drinky drink? We're going to get our little drinky drink and we're going to come back. Drinky drink. All right now, we back. And right now I'm going to show y'all what it's looking like. Come on over here, John, and show them. See how, how it's already starting to cook down, but it's still got a lot of slime. So at this point now, see how, see how much that okra done, done then uh, shrunk, shrunk down already. So at this point now, we're gonna put in some, some vinegar. Now I don't measure. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna use my better judgment, and pour. I guess that would be about a half a cup right there. Oh my God. Okay. So now what that vinegar is gonna do, y'all? It's gonna cut that slime. It's gonna help speed up the cooking process cut that slime out brandon is over here my sous chef he's chopping the onions look at him he's doing such a fine job i'm having so much fun oh yeah look he got this big pot of garlic he's gonna be cutting up too but we ain't gonna use all the garlic y'all he's just gonna break a few little um there's a few cloves for the pot a few little cloves the rest of them is for the vampires coming on halloween <laughs> And of course, we still got the, the ham hocks in the back, tenderizing, so I can put it in the okra later. So we can go, at this point too, we can also start seasoning it. This one not open either, huh, Paulette? Where oh, the one? Yeah. Oh, you got it open. Look right there. Okay, we, we filming in the house, y'all, so this is uh, in the raw, so excuse us. And you, you're not gonna know what you're gonna see today. So we're gonna go ahead. <laughs> and throw some of Pat in the pot in here. Now this is low sodium, so I'm not gonna add no salt. Now later on, I might come back and add just a pinch of salt to give it a little bit of flavor. So now we're gonna stir it up. I got that Creole seasoning in there, now Jack. Look at it. Look how pretty that's looking. My little, my little scraper wasn't doing too good, so John broke out the spatula. <laughs> And look, it's working though. I'm getting up all that gratte from the bottom. Gratte. That's right. All right, so look, let me get my let me get me a swig. Go oh, ahead, yeah, John. You know I gotta have my swig. You got to have your drink and drink. I got to have my little drink and drink. And uh then we're gonna come back and show y'all the process as we go through. Drink and drink, come on, girl. <laughs> Saucy mom. I will spit it out. <laughs> All right, now we back and look. I've been, I've been a stirring and a stirring. I feel like I'm cooking roux because I tell y'all when you cook okra from from scratch from the beginning, right out of the garden, cut, 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 cut. You gotta stir. I started around four o'clock, y'all, and it's twelve minutes after five. So I've been stirring for a whole hour. So if you want to see, look. Remember the last step? I put some vinegar in it. Look at that slime is almost already gone. Look at, look at that, y'all. Look up. If you go back and remember how it started from the beginning, look at it now. Now, what we're going to do next, we're going to throw some onions in there. 
handful of onions. Like that. Or a couple of handfuls. Or a couple of handfuls, <laughs> sure. Give or take. Now we got some minced chopped garlic right here from Brandon. He did a fine job. My little sous chef, he cut them onions real good. We're going to throw a couple of little scoops of garlic in there like that. And we're going to stir it up. Now this is where the flavor come in, y'all. Woo, saucy boy, I smell it already. You smell it, Brandon? Mm, it smells delicious. Oh, look, get trying it. to get out of there. Get back in there. Oh, no, look, now you see them onions? Boy, I smell that garlic. Oh my goodness, if y'all could smell a vision. Boy, if y'all had smell a vision, y'all know what I'm talking about. Now this is some good Louisiana style okra right here. And like I said, in the back, we got the smoked ham out cooking in the back right there, getting tenderized. Now look, Paulette got some chicken going on, Paulette and Brandon. They smothering some chicken. Now this is all them. I ain't got nothing to do with the chicken cause you know what, they cook it good. Uh -huh. So since I've been stirring this pot of uh, okra for an hour and 10 minutes, 12 minutes, something like that, they took over and they gonna cook the meat. So it's a double team, double team cooking today. Paulette and tag team, Paulette and Brandon. Mother and son. We'll see y'all on the first episode of Pop in the Pot. <laughs> Pop in the Pot. Pop in I the like pot. that. I like that. Okay, so look. Now, y'all know I see. I'm going to put a little bit more shaky shake in here. Just a tad more. Okay, like that. Now, I got to get my drinky drink. Because, you know, I got to have my drinky drink. And, you know, I already feel my little drinky drink right now. Because <laughs> I'm talking about, come on, girl. <laughs> I'm talking to, come on girl, let's get that swig going on. Saucy ball, right y'all, look. This okra, what time it is right now? 5.39, so it's been cooking since 4 o'clock. So an hour and 39 minutes, an hour and 40 minutes it's been cooking, almost two hours. Look at it y'all, it's done. No more slime in that, look at it. No more slime. So all my onions and garlic is cooked down. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna have Brandon. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put the smoked ham hock. He's gonna go ahead and put the meat in there first. It done fell off the bones, so I done pull out the bones. Except one of them was being stubborn. Got some gristle on it and didn't want to come off like right like that right there. You got good flavor on that. Good one. flavor on that. So we're gonna put that in that okra right now. It must be a male. Woo, must <laughs> you right. Okay, there you go. He putting that meat in there, that, that smoked tasso, yeah. Ham hock. I, I say it's tasso, but it's ham hock. Okay, now he gonna put the flavor. Here we come with the flavor right now. All that flavor from the smoke ham house. This okra is about to drink your drink. This, this okra is about to drink your drink. Let me get my spoon ready. Oh, I'm sorry, babe. There you go. Look at that. Oh, yeah, y'all. This is the real deal right here. Louisiana style right here. You ain't gonna find no okra. Oh, come on over here, Adriana. Look at that. I'm, I'm going to lift that gratin off the side of the pot. Boy, look how that okra coming together, y'all. Ooh, some of y'all, and I have to, from time to time, put a can of crushed um, tomatoes in there. And boy, that just really lights it up, too. But I don't think we're going to do the tomatoes today. So we got enough flavor going on. You, you, can, you can see in the pot, Adriana? Louisiana style okra, smothered Hold okra. Hold on, Adriana, look right there. Do you see that? That's Pat. That's Pat in the pot. <laughs> that's Pat right there in the that's pot. That's Pat in the pot. Look, see, all this right here, that's flavor right there. That's what you call gratin from that okra and the seasoning. That seasoning is stuck to that pot, that Pat in the pot seasoning. All that's going to come off and get in that, that okra. Look how pretty it is, y'all. Don't worry about that grease that y'all see because that... We're going to get that, we're going to skim all that off. But that's flavor too, that fat. Louisiana style. So. And, and if y'all notice, there's zero slime. Let's see what the chicken look like. Let's show them what Paulette got going on over here. Yeah. Ooh, Paulette and Brandon been working on some chicken. Oh my God. Look, y'all look. Ooh. He's taking a bath right now. The chicken is in a hot tub right now. <laughs> <laughs> about to get the muscles right. That's right. We're going to come back. Oh, look at that. 
Man, now what we gonna do now, y'all? We're gonna have a drinky drink to close this, and then we're gonna show y'all the conclusion when we sit down to eat. Cause you know we got to have the taste test. But right now, I'm gonna go ahead and get my drinky drink. But y'all, I walked y'all through step by step how to cook fresh okra right out of the garden. Choo -choo 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 -choo. Cut it with a knife into the pot. None of this frozen stuff. This is real homegrown Lake Charles, Louisiana. Fresh okra right out the ground. From Miss Lois John Well. That's who I buy my okra from. Miss Lois John Well, y'all. Okay, so look. One more time, Adriana. We show them how pretty that okra look. Ooh, those of you who don't know how don't uh, eat okra and don't like okra, y'all gotta taste pat in the pot okra and you're gonna change your mind. So that's the conclusion of cooking the smothered okra. I'm gonna get my little drinky drink and we're gonna close it out for the day. Where you at, cuz? Toast them up. Toast it up, boy. We had a good time. Drink it, drink. Sassy bomb. What she said. All right, y'all. This is the conclusion of the smothered okra from scratch, right out the ground, fresh. Sauteed, I mean, I smothered down, got all the slime out of there. Come over here and show them. This is it. We are done. Look at that. No slime. Look at that smoked ham hock. All mixed up in there you talk about good beautiful 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 if you if you remember from the beginning that pot was full and it, it and i had to smother it down to get all that slime out this is what you call a louisiana style chicken and smoked ham hock okra now let me tell y'all paul that been cooking too look what she got going on over here man isn't that pretty that's some smothered chicken and gravy beautiful. man if y'all could smell it right now man Look, I, took, I had to take a taste. It's better than mine, y'all. Can you imagine that? It's, you know, I always appreciate other people uh, cooking because I always eat my own cooking. So when I get a chance to eat other people cooking and it's good like this, oh, man, off the chain. So we're going to go ahead and let John do the taste test right now. Go ahead, John. Let, let's, let's find out what you think about this okra, smothered okra. Let's take a test of patting the pot uh, smothered okra. Got his little bowl, y'all. Mm. <laughs> Show me your shirt, John. Pat, that's pretty good. That's some of the best smothered okra I've ever eaten in my life. Come on, John. You done great. Woo! You done great, girl. I, I well, I look. I'm patting the pot for something, huh? I'm <laughs> loving every minute hey, of it. Hey, look, y'all. We we ready to eat, so we're gonna go ahead and close this out. But I gotta get my cuz, my good looking cuz. I love my cuz so much, so much. And we had a good time cooking together, y'all. Real good time. So we're gonna have our, one more swig of our drink and drink and we're gonna chow down on this food. Y'all have a blessed night, but let's get our swig on first. Drink and drink.